welcome back to my channel. Um, I am Renisha Ray, all my friends call me Ro, and if this is your first time here, I focus on luxury, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, um, time with my mom, and whatever else I can seem to get into. If you have not already liked, comment, and subscribed, please feel free to do so. And today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about a Zara haul, and I'm so excited, y'all. So. The mall here in Houston um, has been open for a while, but Zara was, I don't know, Zara was zara and it was just really, really packed, a lot of people, and so I was a little bit nervous about going into Zara with everyone in there, um, and sometimes it can be a line. But I was able to, there we go. I was able to go, and I picked up a few things. Some things worked, and then some things didn't work. So stay tuned, and we'll find out how it all processed. All right, so I picked up a couple of pieces and I'm gonna go in order of the rack. And they're gonna, there's gonna be a split screen on the side of here so you can just kind of follow along. The first thing that I picked up is gonna be this two-piece layering dress. And it is a white dress first and then it has a sweater layer over it. What I absolutely love about this is that the sweater layer over it part, you can also pair that with something else, wear it by itself, or you can pair it with another dress or another top another sweater long sweater in the winter time in the fall depending on where you live the dress is really lightweight i am disappointed that it didn't have pockets like if it had pockets it would have been it for me um i probably will wear the dress by itself and probably pair it with a belt but overall i really like it um i was worried about it making me look busty here because i am more top heavy than i am bottom heavy um so i was a little concerned about that but i ended up i think i'm going to actually keep it so i think i like it all right um, on to the next piece. The next piece that I have is the lime green two-piece set. And y'all, I am not a color girl. So I pretty much, that's like a whole contradiction. Look at this, it looks like color. <laughs> Let me turn this off. Um, I'm not a color girl normally, but there's been something about the spring and just being trapped inside the house because of Corona that really has me wanting to you know bring out some color i blame monroe for this um and there's a girl on instagram that i follow as well she does a lot of color blocking out and i'll tag her at the bottom so i got this two-piece lime green set um i got both the top and the bottom in a size medium i think i could have sized down in the top i was worried again about the bust area but i feel like the waist area is just a little bit too big but then i also feel like if i get a small the bust area is not gonna fit so i may just have to take it to my tailor and let them fix it but overall it's giving me major clueless vibes um, I paired it with a pair of um, mule heels that have a bow on it in a fuchsia color and then a Brandon Blackwood in Systematic Racism um, handbag. Absolutely love this y'all. I really feel like I will wear my hair in a ponytail uh, rather than down but it was just like a whole moment for me. So the second thing, the third item that I got was a satin multicolor pastel satin dress. Things that I love about it because there's some things that I'm just like uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Again, tell me what you think in the comments. So, what I love, the color. Absolutely love the color of the dress. I love the necktie. I love that it has the kind of rouging that you can kind of adjust if you want to be a little bit more modest and not show much leg. Or if you want to be a little hot girl summer, you can hike up, the, you can shrink it up a little bit and show a little leg, show a little kneecap, okay? Love that. What I'm not crazy about is that it fits in the bottom, but in the waist area, it's too big. And I don't know for the amount of money that I paid for it, if it's going to be worth it for me to get it taken in. Um, the dress was, I want to say guys, it was, yeah, it was $50 and I got a size medium in that. I'm on the fence about it. So y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. I absolutely love the kind of rainbow kind of fade out color that it's doing, but I don't necessarily love the fit. It's really, really tight at the bottom. It's super duper loose in a midsection and then it fits perfectly in the bust area. I don't know, y'all tell me. The next thing that I tried on was one of my favorite things and that is the two piece um, purple checkered set. And it has a plunging V in the front and it has the same plunging V in the back with the knit skirt. I got a medium in the top and then I got a small in the bottom. I love this set. Cannot wait to wear it. Wish that I would have remembered to pack it on my trip to Mexico. Love it. Like, it is perfect. Again, it's giving me clueless. Um, I would probably wear my hair in a ponytail. I kind of want to pair this with like a 
yellow, um, like a pastel yellow, like a cute yellow bag and like a pastel yellow shoe. I think that that would be really, really cute. Um, I also really like it with gold accessories, but I'm just a gold accessory girl, so no surprise there. Love this set. Like, it fits great. It's a heavy knit. It's not see-through. And y'all see what I'm talking about in see-through in just a little bit. It's not see-through. Um, good quality. And again, I got a small in the bottom and a medium in the top. So, next dress. This is what I mean when I say see-through knit. This knit dress here is so heavy i would not even do this for spring it's definitely a fall you can layer it with something else but it would just be too hot for the summertime or even spring it took me at least five minutes to get the dress on and get it off and i didn't want to get makeup on it just in case i needed to take it back i think i'm definitely going to keep it but it won't be for this season um the only thing that i will advise is that if you're a person i typically don't like to wear um um, wired bras but this one will require some type of like bra to go underneath it that's not going to be opaque because once that knit fabric stretches out I did notice in like the right lighting you could kind of see what was happening underneath my dress um, and that's why you see me kind of covering it here because I didn't necessarily care for that part but I love the dress and I definitely think I'm going to keep it for sure like it was definitely worth it and I got that one in a size small. Um, just in case you're wondering, everything that's available, which I feel like most things should be with the exception of a few things that I got a little bit um, beforehand, they all should be available on the site. Um, I just went to Zara last week um, about time that this video is posted. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, y'all know how Zara is, stuff still sells out so quickly that everything will be available to purchase. And I'll link it all down below. Right, because that's what friends do, we link stuff. The next thing is going to be this satin mini dress. Y'all, I love this fuchsia color. It is absolutely beautiful. My only thing is that I couldn't get the zipper on the side. So that one is a size small. Um, and unfortunately, me and size zippers, when it gets to the bust area, we just do not get along. So I'm going to go back to Zara and get that one to size up. Um, I did get it in a small. It does have adjustable straps, which I love, like bra straps. Love when satin dresses have that. Um, it does have like some rouging on the side and not really a split, but just where the top and the bottom kind of cross over each other, it creates that kind of illusion of a split. Um, if you want to be intentional, you could always just like pin it over and give yourself a split. But I think that dress with a monochromatic look, like a pink shoe, a pink bag, will be darling. Half up, half down. I know everybody doesn't really like that. I like that hairstyle, the half up, half down thing. I'm happy that that's coming back. Um, and I think that would be like a moment, like a whole moment, okay? Definitely loving the pink fuchsia dress. Next is gonna be um, two pairs of shorts that I got and I paired them with um, the Zara basic bodysuits. So if you're on your way back to the office and you have not gotten any of the Zara basic bodysuits, those are like my holy grails, um, especially when we were in the office full time. They were so great to layer under blazers. They were great to do um, if you need like a cami with something or you need like a layering piece. Great, um, great material. And I normally can get mine anywhere from a small to a medium. And you'll see me try it on here. This one has like a racer cut um, with like a little boob here. So I wouldn't wear this one without something over it um, to work, but you definitely could put like a cardigan, a blazer or something over it just to serve as a layering piece. I tried on the um, orange shorts first and I'm a sucker for orange and fuchsia together. I think that's a great color blocking moment. I really did like these two together. My only concern was that when I closed my legs, I kind of got a little bit of um, like fabric gapping or like fabric over overlapping as if they were too small. Um, they're a medium. I, I want to kind of go a size up, but then I feel like they would be extremely too big in the waist. So I want to think about that some. There's something going on with Zara spitting though. It's, it's weird. I feel like every size that I thought I wore um, in Zara before quarantine, I no longer wear. And I know I ate during quarantine, but I didn't eat that much. And I've been going to the gym, so I don't know. It's something wrong with Zara sizing. Y'all tell me. It's something off. There's something weird happening with the sizing in Zara. I don't know what it is. And it, does, and it doesn't help that the dressing room isn't open either. But there's something really, really weird happening with Zara sizing. 
I, I don't know, but it's happening. Um, the next pair of shorts, these fit fine, a medium. They have the gold buttons um, down the front part of them and then the lower pockets. I think these are so cute. I wouldn't necessarily wear it with this bodysuit, but since I already had it on, I just went ahead and slipped on the shorts over it. I really would try to do this with like a white button down t-shirt um, or blouse and just t um, tying it and then kind of pushing it off the shoulders to kind of create a kind of off the shoulder moment. Again, something really simple. The pair of shorts to me are classic that you'll be able to kind of keep in your wardrobe forever. And I really like that nude color. Next up are going to be these pair of shorts. Y'all, every time I try these shorts, it never goes well for me. I, I try to support the trend, like these kind of boyfriend shorts. But these things are, I, they're not for me. I'm short. The short's long. Short people are long shorts. It was giving me real oompa loompa. So I'm probably not going to keep these. I didn't even keep them on that long. I like the concept of them, but I just feel like I'm too short to wear um, the the middle length kind of shorts. Like they either have to be really short or they have to be pants for it to like make sense for my height dimension. Next is going to be the Zara pants. And these have um, the cut at the ankle, the slice, and it has some um, distressing around the end. Again, these pants fit in the thighs, but they do not fit in the waist. And I ended up having to get a size 40 in these pants just to even get them like over my thighs and my butt. But then the waist ended up being too big. So I probably will not keep these, even though I really need a pair of good jeans that are like distressed. I've had the hardest time finding some. So I've ordered some from Mango. I ordered some from Nasty Gal and none of them seem to fit. So I don't know if it's just like a trend. You know, like some trends are just not for you and you just can't make them work. I don't know if that's going to be the case for me, but I'm really hoping that I find some jeans that work. Um, maybe some that have a little bit of stretch in there. Not any that are like jeggings, but just some that gives me a little bit of room to kind of work with. Because what ends up happening is that my waist ends up being too big or... You know, they fit in the thigh, the waist is too big, or the waist is fine, but I can't pull them up to even button them. So I'm hoping that that kind of changes. Next thing is going to be t-shirts. I didn't want to try these on because I didn't want to get makeup back. So I didn't want to try these on because I didn't want to get makeup on them. Bazaar had the cutest t-shirts and socks. So they did a collection with Barbie, and it was Barbie times Zara. And I am a huge Barbie fan. Um, anytime that I see any type of, like, graphic, clearly, graphic t-shirts, um... Any type of graphic tees, I always, always, always try to grab them. So the first one that I got was this Barbie um, style icon. And I like that it's a black Barbie <laughs> on here. And this color is like a pale blue. And it has Barbie times Zara on the sleeve. I absolutely love this. I can for sure see this with like a pair of cut up shorts when I find some that fit and just like some cute little trainers or even like a pair of my Princeton loafers with like a blazer over it. I think this will be super duper cute. So love this one. The next one is going to be this pink shirt and it kind of has this tie in the front that I really like and it's a crop top. I'm sure on me because I have a short torso, it won't be a crop top, but I'm okay with it. I'll probably just fold it into my bra a little bit and make it crop. The last one is the one that I'm so excited about. So it's Muhammad Ali. <laughs> um, and it has Muhammad Ali on the back. And then at the bottom of it, it has Ali at home relaxing. So this is a black and white shirt. I definitely could see this with like a white blazer, um, some cut up shorts and a pair of pumps just for like a cute night out with the girls. So I got these three shirts. All of them I got in a size small with the exception of this pink shirt, I got in a size medium. So we're back. The last three things that I got were blazers. So I was heavily in need of a colorful blazer. I have a lot of pink blazers, but I normally gravitate towards pink, like that's always my pop of color. Um, I went ahead and got three blazers and you'll kind of see me try them on. The first one is a green and white kind of checkered blazer. It took everything in me, you guys, not to get the pink and white checkered blazer. I kept saying to myself, you don't need a pink blazer. You don't need a pink blazer. You don't need a pink blazer. So I went ahead and I got the medium in this blazer. I think I want to go back and get the small. It is a little big to me. I thought that um, when I tried it on originally that 
I think I had on bigger clothes or a bigger shirt because it was kind of snug. But when I tried it on with just a regular camisole or a re regular bodysuit, it kind of gave me a loose fit. So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep it a medium for in the fall, I can layer it with something or do I want to go back and get a small. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Should I go back and get a small, keep the medium? Do you like the green color? Like what are you, how, how are we feeling about green? The next one is going to be a tweed blazer dress. Depending on how tall or short you are, um, this hits me right above my knee. And in the back, if I wanted to push the limit and wear some like biker shorts underneath it, I could wear it as a dress. But what I absolutely love on this is the exaggerated puff sleeve here. It does have padding, so it is actually standing up substantially. And then it has the buttons. And this is like a tweed material. It is lightweight. It's not heavy. Um, if you're going to try to wear it in the fall, you definitely will need to put something under it. It's definitely a springtime, summertime blazer. Um, I think intentionally, just because of the color and the fabric. The last thing is going to be a white blazer. And that's one thing I didn't have is a true white blazer and this one i love i love the lapel on it i love the buttons on it i think it works um i cannot wait to style this up cannot wait to wear this somewhere i don't know where i'm going y'all but i want to go somewhere in it i am absolutely loving the crispness of this blazer loving the structure of it loving the weight of the blazer it just looks so good and i don't think it was even over a hundred dollars i'll link it down below and i got that blazer in a small so that one the store sales clerk told me ran big um so i went ahead and sized down that one in a size small worked perfectly so i'm super duper excited about that i think that's no i'm lying i got two more things from Zara. one more last two things that i got from Zara were a pair of shoes and a handbag so i saw these shoes while i was at Zara, and they caught my attention because they are one of my favorite colors which is nude <laughs> and then i like the ropes like and they're really really soft so it has some cushion here and that's super duper soft these were 59.99 and i got a 37 which is a us six and a half i like these a lot i'll do a video clip with my feet in them i like these a lot guys like i feel like they kind of can like dress up a, like a cute maxi dress if you have like some shorts. I definitely would pair these with um, those orange shirts and maybe like a cute, that, those orange shorts and maybe like a cute shirt. Definitely think these are cute. I do think $60 is a little pricey, but what I will say is that they are, they're, they're not light. Like they're, it's a heavy shoe and I think it's the roping that's making it heavy. It gives me like a boat rope, but I like these. These we love. Okay, the last thing, Zara has been coming through with like a lot of um, Bottega Veneta, Jackal Moose, um, dupe purses, and this is another one of them. I hate that they put all that right paper, paper on there. So this is one of them. Um, it is a basket, and then it has the clasp here to open it, and it's a pretty good amount of room for stuff in here. Um, you can def I definitely can fit my phone. I like that it has the crossbody strap on here. And of course it has the top handle. And this purse was $49.90, so about $50. Not too bad, especially when you compare to what Moose is charging for them. So again, super cute. Um, it does come with like paper all wrapped across so you have to get that off. Um, but I do like that it has the chain option and you can remove this chain. And if you have another chain, you can add another one on here. So that's also an option as well. All right, so that's going to be it for my Zara haul. If you have stayed for this long, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, join the queendom. <laughs> make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is the modern day queen. It's pretty much the same across every board. And I will check in with you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, XOXO.